here as I walk through the snow is the situation now. Streets are in pretty good shape. They've had plows coming through. They've had salt, trucks out and about. Things are fine. A little slushy here and there, but certainly passable. Yeah, you see that slush over here and there. And the snow, by the way, was some of the wet stuff. It's not that light powder that Rob Marciano loves so much. It was the heavy, heavy stuff. And that heavy snow caused all kinds of issues. Some 3,000 homes without power. There was actually a, a structure in Lynn, Massachusetts, where there was a roof cave in. Certainly some bad situations. However, as the sun is out, drier air is moving in, people are getting back to normal. Certainly the roads are in better shape, as we mentioned. Uh, public schools, though, remain closed for the time being. How are you doing? Hold on one second. How, how long have you been working? Since 10 o'clock uh, last night. 10 o'clock last night. How are you feeling? You tired? You keeping up pretty well? I'm all right. You still by now. The roads are pretty good, man. I appreciate the hard work. When, are, when you guys are going to move, because I can't go until all the snow's off. We're, we're going to be going in a little bit. Can you give me a beat? Can I run on that thing? That's what it's all about, guys. That is That's so all about. embarrassing. Hardcore snow stuff. That is so embarrassing. Thanks, man. Reynolds, go thing move is, that though, truck. we got, would you have a little bit more snow in the forecast? Go move that CNN yeah, We're going to move the truck. Let's take it back to you guys. Okay. Let's head out to the nation's capital. A half a foot of snow fell there.